Hey guys, it's Kara. Welcome back to the Rambatina channel. Today we are finally doing an updated tutorial on this jumper that I posted 11 months ago, so almost a year ago now, which is crazy. Um, and yeah, I'm doing an updated version of this jumper because I'm not a big fan on how I joined it. I'm gonna, this time we're gonna do a join as you go method. Um, and a lot of you were asking on how to do the cuffs on the sleeves and the collar um, and I'm also going to add a little trim at the bottom of this one as well and I'm using different colours and I'm using a different colour for each round this time. Um, last time I used uh, solid, I made solid squares and solid triangles just using three different um, types of yarn one of them was a multicolored one so I got lots of colors um but yeah I wanted to try it out um using solid colors and uh alternating the colors for each round we are gonna make it a bit longer this time um and I'm gonna make 22 squares in total and eight triangles yeah so this is the sunburst granny square um or starburst and Obviously, this is not my design, it's all over um, YouTube and, you know, wherever you can find crochet patterns. So this is a well-known pattern, it's not mine, I'm not claiming that it's my design. Um, I'm just going to show you how to make it in this vi in this jumper series. Um, so you can see how I make it with my, you know, hacks on how to make it really seamless, like you can't really see where I started the round and finished the round, um, so I'm really proud on how these turned out. Um, and then the same with the triangle, um, I showed you guys how to make this in the last uh, in the video, um, in the original one, but I have since then improved quite a bit and it doesn't look so wonky now. I don't know what I was doing before, but now it's looking a lot better. We can have like a side by side comparison. Um, yeah, that, that looks icky <laughs> and wonky. And now we have the new and improved um, half granny square or triangle where it's nice and neat and straight. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. So in this first part, I'm going to show you how to make the squares and the triangles because uh, you want to, you know, first off make the squares and the triangles and then we're going to start joining them in the next part. Um, so that's why I've only got four rounds um, on the square and the same with the triangle. I only have four rows um, and we're going to use the fifth round to start joining them. Um, but yeah, that will be in the next part. So I've gone ahead and made 21 squares already and seven triangles, so I'm going to make the 22nd and the 8th triangle in this video to show you how to do them. Um, is there anything else to mention before we start? The yarn um, is from all over the place and I don't think I have the labels for each yarn, but basically it's all four medium weight Aran worsted weight yarn. And I'm using a six millimeter crochet hook with that. This is what I used last time. It's the exact same thing. Um, I'm just making it a bit longer this time. So it's gonna be a bit bigger. Um, sizing if you need to size up if you need to make it a bit larger I recommend making more rounds um, in the granny square so I've got four here you might need to do five and then join with the sixth round um, and then sizing down if you need it smaller maybe try using DK yarn that might be a bit too small I'm not too sure um, or maybe go down on hook size um yeah that might be a bit of experimenting um but i will have the full measurements in the description of the of the video as well as the written pattern um if i can find the yarn i will include that in the description as well um but there are some great like ice yarn alternatives that i could put in the description for you guys let's start off with the square so yeah i recommend making all your squares first and then joining them afterwards well that's what i've decided to do here but you could always join as you go so make them and join you join them as you go but you might want to 
see where all the squares go in the jumper first you might want to choose you know where the color placement and all that so let's let's make a square we are gonna grab one of our colors and make a slip knot then i'm going to make a chain five loop so i'm just going to chain up five then i'm going to slip stitch back into that first chain to create our loop there we go now we have our loop i'm going to go into it with my hook with a single crochet chain one and that is our beginning double crochet so that acts as our very first double crochet in this round then i'm going to go around and make 15 more double crochets for a total of 16. Okay, and I'm gonna pull on my loose end that I crocheted over so that we can get it all nice and together. <laughs> then we're gonna slip stitch into that beginning double crochet. Chain one to fasten off. And so with the second colour, I'm going to make a slip knot. I'm going to take my hook out. Yeah, I'm going to take my hook out of the slip knot and I'm going to go into that slip stitch that we just made to finish that round. So that slip stitch on top there. Ooh. Go into it, grab the yarn that has the slip knot, I'm going to pull it through, and I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to make, oh these ends are in my way, um, I'm going to make a three insert puff stitch, so yarn over, go into that same slip stitch and pull up your yarn it's quite difficult to do <laughs> and pull it up quite high yarn over go into that stitch again pull it up again yarn over go into the stitch one last time and pull it up then you want to yarn over and pull through all of those loops and chain one. That's our first puff stitch. Okay, so next we're going to put the next puff stitch into this stitch here, which is kind of, um, it's kind of like opened up, <laughs> but we're going to yarn over, go into that stitch, pull up your yarn, yarn over, go into the stitch again, pull it up, yarn over, go into the stitch for the third time, pull it up, yarn over, pull through all of the loops. Chain one. So now we're just going to continue making puff stitches in all of these stitches so you'll have 16 puff stitches in total and remember to chain one in between each one so I'll just show you one more time. Yarn over, go into the stitch, pull up, to meet to meet to meet the height of the other stitches yarn over go in for a second time yarn over go in for a third time yarn over pull through all of the loops 
and chain one. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue doing that all the way around. Okay, so I finished my last puff stitch and chain one. Now I'm going to slip stitch into the top of the very first puff stitch to finish this round. So just make a slip stitch, chain one to fasten off. Okay, we're on our third round now and I'm gonna grab my next color and make a slip knot. And I'm going to start in any of these chain one gaps um, and I'm going to start with a beginning double crochet, so a standing single crochet chain one and that's going to act as part of the cluster stitch. So I'm going to yarn over, go into that same space, pull up your yarn, yarn over, pull through two yarn over, go into the stitch, pull up your yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go into the same space, pull up your yarn, yarn over, pull through two. So we have four loops on our hook and I'm going to yarn over, pull through all four of the loops and chain two. So that's our first cluster. It's a bit different to the other clusters because we start with the beginning double crochet and then you just do a three insert cluster to finish that first one. And now we're just gonna make um, 15 more regular four insert clusters. So I'm gonna show you, yarn over, go into the next chain space and pull up your yarn, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So you want to do that four times. So you have a four insert cluster and now we have five loops on our hook. So the first one you'll just have four loops on your hook but for the rest of them you'll have five. Yarn over and pull through all of those loops and chain two. So we want to continue this all the way around in between each of these puff stitches for a total of 16 cluster stitches. So I'm going to continue going around. Remember to go into the gap four times, pulling up your yarn and just pulling through two each time. Yarn over and pull through all five. Chain two. Thank you. 
Okay, so I've finished all 16 clusters and we've got the chain two still on our hook and I'm going to slip stitch into this stitch. So the stitch past the first cluster, so in that one, to finish this round. Slip stitch, chain one to fasten off. So now we are on the fourth round and the squaring off round. <laughs> so this is when it, it goes from a circle into a square. So I'm gonna make a slip knot with my yarn. And I'm gonna go into any of these chain two spaces, just go into any random one. And I'm going to make a beginning double crochet, so a standing single crochet. And then I always bring this loose end over to this side so that I am crocheting over it. And then I'm going to finish my single crochet, chain one, and that's our beginning double crochet. And now I'm going to make one more double crochet in that space. And then we're gonna come and finish this cluster at the very end when we come back around um, so that you have that seamless beginning and end. So now we're going to the next space with three half double crochets. Then we want to make three double crochets into the next space. Then we're gonna make our first corner. So we're gonna wrap our yarn around the hook twice to make a treble crochet. So in the next chain two space, you wanna make three treble crochets. We're going to chain two for the corner and then make three more double, 
three more treble crochets into that same space. So you'll have six treble crochets in total in this one space. So now we're going to make three double crochets in the next space. So we've just done three double crochets and so now we make three half double crochets. Then we're going to make three double crochets into the next space. And then we're into our next corner with three trebles. Chain two, three more trebles. And I'm going to continue that pattern all the way around to finish this square. So next up is doubles. Then three half doubles. Three double crochets. And now we're going to make our next corner. So three trebles. Chain two, three more trebles, and we're on the last side now. So I'm going to make three doubles, three half doubles, three doubles, and then we're going to make our corner in this one and then we're going to finish this cluster so three doubles Okay, so I finished my last corner and to finish this round, 
we are going to make one more double crochet into that very first um, space that we joined with so to complete that cluster we'll just make one more double crochet and then slip stitch into the beginning double crochet slip stitch and chain one And there we go, we have one square, the last square for me, complete. Yeah, that might be a good idea when you've made all your squares to weave in the ends as you go, um, so it's not a big job at the end. Okay, so this is all of my squares. I have eight of these ones with the cream on the outside. I have six with the gray on the outside and then four each of the pink, well like the blush colour um, and the teal colour. Two of these will actually be um, folded like that uh, for the sides. Okay, let's make one of these triangles. So, where is the end of this yarn? Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to make a slip knot. I'm going to make a chain 5 loop, the same as the square. And slip stitch into the first to make a loop. And I'm going to go in with a beginning double crochet into the loop, so a single crochet chain 1. And now I'm going to make eight more double crochets so that we have nine in total. Then I'm going to chain one to fasten off. Where are my scissors? There they are. So I'm going to make a slip knot with my next colour. And we are going to go into that beginning double crochet that we started on. So this beginning double crochet, we're going to go into the top of the stitch with another beginning double crochet. Then I'm going to put one more double crochet into that same stitch and that's our fake first puff stitch so it's not really a puff stitch at all but um it's gonna act as you know these bits it looks a lot neater when you just when you just do that so we just made a beginning double crochet one double crochet into the very first beginning double crochet then i'm going to chain one and make our first puff stitch into the next stitch. So a three insert puff stitch like the squares. Go in three times, yarn over, pull through all of them and chain one. Continue making puff stitches and we're gonna have seven puff stitches in total. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. <laughs> so chain one after every puff.
So after you've made seven puff stitches, you should be left with one more stitch. And after a chain one, we are just going to put two double crochets into that stitch. I'm actually gonna crochet over this tail end. So I'm just gonna put two double crochets into that last stitch like that. So it kind of mimics the other side and gives us that nice straight line. So chain one to fasten off this round. I call them rounds even though they're technically not because you're not meeting in the middle but it's a semicircle, <laughs> semi-round. <laughs> so with the next round I'm going to make a slip knot with my new colour. And I'm going to go, let me remember what I did, yes, yeah, so I'm going to go in between that beginning double crochet, the first beginning double crochet we made, and the double crochet with a beginning double crochet, so go in between them, Ooh. make a beginning double crochet. Then I'm going to chain another one, so that's how we start this round and then I'm going to go into the next space with my regular 4 insert cluster stitch. and chain two and we're going to continue making cluster stitches so that we have eight clusters in total so we've made our first one Seven. Yeah, we are on the last one now. So this, the eighth one goes in between the last puff and the last two double crochets that we put there. And after that cluster, you want to just chain one, not two. And then I'm going to just put one double crochet in between these last two double crochets here. So go in between them and just place one double crochet. Chain one to fasten off. So I'm going to grab my yarn, make a slip knot. I'm going to go in between the beginning double crochet and the first cluster we made with a beginning triple crochet. So that's a standing single crochet chain two. Then I'm going to put two treble crochets into that same space. Then I'm going to go into the next space and put three double crochets.
then into the next space with three half double crochets next space with three doubles now we're going to make our peak of the triangle or the corner so three triples chain two for the corner and make three more triples Then I'm going to make three doubles into the next space. Three half double crochets into the next space. Three doubles into the next. And we're going to finish off with three trebles in between the last cluster and that double crochet. Chain one to fasten off. And there you go. So then we're going to do another round to join it to the squares. So I think I have four of these and four of the teal and these will go at the top of the jumper as well as the bottom. There we go. But yeah, that's all for this part, the first part of this jumper. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys were able to follow along to this tutorial and I hope you found some, you know, new tricks and hacks to make this sunburst um, granny square a lot neater and easier. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, happy crocheting. Um, if you're following along and crocheting along with this jumper, um, make your squares, make your triangles, and we'll meet back um, to join them. And yeah, hope you're having a lovely day. Bye!